everything, everywhere, all at once. Mm. If that title kind of like does a number in your brain, that's exactly what the movie is going to do to you. Welcome. It's the movie just here for Wake Up Nigeria. We've got Mike and, of course, mm. Titi in the mm. house. Is, yes, Mike, is, you yeah. saw that movie, I did, yeah? I did. What did you think you about it? You recommend it to some particular kind of people. I would recommend it to you. Yes. I would recommend it to, let's say, in, in this office, I would recommend it to, like, 75% of people I, 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 I relate <laughs> with. That, that says a lot. Yeah. But there's some people you will just not enjoy this movie. Like, but, what is that? But, yeah. but then, it's... it's it, it, Why I love this movie it, is that um, it doesn't take away... It has action. It has kung fu. Yeah. It has... Comedy. It has comedy. Yeah. And then it has the mind-boggling stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then it also has deep stuff. So it, it's a kind of movie that... In some ways, it caters for everyone. Right. Yeah, some people might get bored, but it's, it's cerebral. I yeah. love it. Yeah. I, I like the fact that Michelle Yu is not coming out as ultra glamorous alone. She's coming out in so many different ways. She's acting many different roles in one movie, yeah. which shows how brilliant an actress you she are is. She's yeah. got the drama locked down. Yes. She's got the kung fu locked down. She's got the, we, we've never the seen this of Michelle Yu. Never. Yeah. This yeah. Was, exactly. I, she acted. Like it, yeah. it, this was like it, it, for this was there was drama in this. So mm. if you're a drama person, you see an actress who can act drama and at mm -hmm. the same time can throw it down with the bad guys. Yeah, you yeah. understand? She mm -hmm. the, probably does a lot of her stunts. Yeah. That was, Wanted was to say that this is the most. This will well, a lot of people will agree with me that this is the most and best description of a multiverse that any movie has That's ever done. Yeah. If you ask me, we had a hierarchy the other day. We did. Yeah. The one, someone one reminded me of the one. Yeah, the one wasn't the a bad one. The Jet Li movie the Jet from movie, which was quite a long while ago. And I remember, okay, yeah. that was more or less like one of our first introductions to the concept the multiverse. of the multiverse. Yeah. Yeah. And they did it quite well. I, I, I love how they went about it and all that. And a lot of movies now are delving into that area because, hey, someone goes, I can bring the person back because there's a multiverse. <laughs> it was a fantastic movie. We think you guys should actually check it out. But please open your mind. You have to fracture it a bit so you can yep. get in all of the concepts that's in there. It's very nice, very entertaining. It's comedy and all. But since it's Children's Day, we also wanted to let people know that, hey, we also have the children at heart. We're concerned about them. And this weekend, perhaps maybe you as a family could be seeing the next movies with your children. We've talked about this one from before. It's The Bad Guys. But we want to talk about it again. First off, great animation, fantastic storyline. It tells a good story at the end. You guys check out this trailer we'll be back fantastic movie here the bad guys just wanted to point out that the villain here who was in the beginning the good guy was actually voiced by a nigerian adeola or adeola it's actually fantastic his british accent will not give him away but he is a fantastic voice actor he's also a bbc presenter he's done great uh, documentaries to so see him in this one okay okay like blow it away let your kids see it um the, the the name might throw you off a bit in the beginning guys, but it's not yeah. all about the bad guys it's about the bad guys turning into the good guys yeah uh, so that's the story that you can tell bullies can become good people too in the end <laughs> have you seen it have you guys seen it so i have not seen it yeah. i have i've had it for a while there's just so much to binge on but yeah like you said i love the concept they will always meet bad guys yeah. like tt would want to advocate for early learning yes they will meet bad guys so yeah. hey, maybe they need to know how to deal with them when that time comes mm. so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this yeah. whenever a particular movie has a message especially for kids to learn from yeah it's a great way to put that to them but then i think that i love the way this animation has been put together That's fantastic we keep seeing a lot more you know disney pixar movies yeah. and things like that but now it's great to see another team coming together to put something out uh, like specifically this. about the form of animation the reason yeah. well there's one thing that i wanted you to know um it was particularly animated in a certain kind of way that takes us back to how cartoons are supposed to be because yeah. cartoons are getting a bit too real these yeah. days mm -hmm. Mm. If you saw Encanto and everything, yeah. movies were a bit too real. Yeah. So they want you to really understand that, yes, there's a cartoon this is world. This animated, yeah? World. This is animated. You guys are going to love it. Check it out. I love it absolutely to death. Now, for the kids, once again, this one is great. It's brand new. Only came out about uh, two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. No, now Sonic is as old as two months now. It's very old now. It don't get one Well, this is Sonic the Hedgehog. Check it out. I didn't, I didn't like this one as much as the prequel. Uh -huh. But yeah, it, it's a good watch. I, I love the, the prequel animation better than this one. But yeah, this is uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Dang. These animated movies tend to get a bit too real. real. Yeah. And then a bit on the scary side. A bit too many explosions for me. <laughs> you know, okay. is it really? still for kids? I think, so. I, for you, yeah? I, yeah. I think for a particular age of mm. kids, a particular, you have to be maybe an adolescent and uh, get into the yeah. teenage. Well, you wouldn't want it for a toddler. 
Yeah. So maybe above toddler adolescent level, this yeah. one is for them. So they're kids mm -hmm. of different stages. Great concern, I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So for, I mean, for toddlers, maybe not. The cross references in this one are also fantastic. But yeah, I want to cross reference yeah. this into our next movie. Sonic Two, Sonic the Hedgehog, actually makes an appearance in the next movie. Mm. When you hear Chip and Dale, what mm. comes to mind? Rescue Rangers. Yeah, yeah, it takes right. you all the way back, doesn't it? That's exactly <laughs> what this is. Chip and Dale is back. They've got their movie, and it's a mix of cartoon and real life. It is fantastic, just like Sonic. Just Sonic the Hedgehog. Ah, Sonic also, by the way, makes an appearance inside of this movie. Inside of this one, yeah. Sonic. Oh. In fact, the cross references are so many that it just brings together the 80s, the 90s, and everything and presents them to your kids in a way that you can also enjoy. It's a family movie. See, this will be back. <laughs> So like I said from before, you can see how the animation is like from the 80s or the early 90s. Yeah. That was deliberate. It was mm. so nicely done. I like the cross -refer references. Every other animated character, well, some of them made an appearance in this movie. Mm. It was such a beautiful presentation. I, I mm. enjoyed, yeah. genuinely enjoyed looking at it because of the nostalgia it brought back. It brought back. The exactly. name Chip and Dill alone was, mm. I mean, I, I thought that at one time, maybe if I had a son, I was going to name him Chip or <laughs> So uh, the only thing I'm missing is that the sound of their voice. Oh, that was horrible. I from, didn't like it. From before, mm. it was a little uh, auto tuny yeah. you know, back then, and it made them sound like chipmunks. Yeah, that was how I felt chipmunks would sound if I have actually ever had a pet chipmunk. That was how it would sound. Now they sound a bit I too adult. Sure. Too, too, oh. too normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I know. I get you. Are growing and developing better and faster now. Basically. Yeah, they really don't need all that. I get the idea about the whole chipmunk <sighs> feel and everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's a plus. Remember it. They are in a real world instance. Okay. Here, so, mm, so they can't be too like animated, yeah? Okay. But then, like you said, I was still, if, you, if you're watching, say, Alvin and Chipmunks and all of yeah, that, they still yeah. use that mm -hmm. auto tune voice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think one word or the other, it works. It yeah. works either way. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely. These are the movies that we present to you today, all four of them. You guys can check out. They're available now, so you can either see them on streaming services or buy them off of the internet. You guys check them out with your family. Maybe not everywhere, uh, uh, the, the first one we, we, we presented yeah. to you. That's just for you adults. But um, everything else you guys are going to find fantastically nice, especially for your kids, especially noting that today is Children's Day. Yes, sir. So that's all we have for the movies. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for sharing. <laughs> and we'll be back. We've got more coming your way inside of Wake Up Nigeria.